As an online student, for the so-called distance learning to be effective, a student will need a computer and stable internet. I just want to speak for my other fellow students who will be having a hard time accessing this online learning. What will happen to them, to us, when we start our online learning inside the comfort of our homes with so many distractions such as our parents fighting, our neighbors singing, our dogs barking, our little sister crying, and most of all, our unstable connection. Many students today struggle to enroll for online class. Some don't want to get behind, and some are in a dilemma because of the increased tuition college fees. The adjustments done by universities for continuing teaching through online resources is an impressive solution, but the situation also unearths the reality that income and social inequality breeds digital inequality. When they go back to school, the poor will have to make up for the lessons they missed, having not been able to attend the online classes. Students can only go so far with their access to technology. In a world where virtual reality and digital classrooms are becoming a feature of formal education, having a personal computer and a reliable internet connection is a sure advantage. For those who do not have access, this is yet another challenge that they have to work hard to overcome. After this pandemic, the gap between the rich and the poor will still remain. The lower classes will continue to navigate their way around the limits of their daily lives to have better access to the things they need in order to survive. We are all struggling. We are all working hard. We are all stressed. All we can do is to be sensitive with one another because all of us have battles that we are overcoming with our lives today.